What is up, fellow investors? Capital Gains here, and I will be going over the dividend payments that I have received for March. Before that, I would like to give a shout out to the Dividend Tree. He brought up some good points about uh, having different portfolios for different goals, like a growth portfolio or a dividend portfolio. I did not think about that, but it is a really good idea. If I were you, I would check him out. He is the Dividend Tree. Really cool videos. They explain a lot. Really help you get uh, into the investing world. This week, I ended up buying two growth stocks, which I will show off right along with the dividends. We will first start off with Realty Income. This was on my last dividend video. I'll show that I received 0 0.018906 shares at an average price of $64 for um, my fractional investment of $1.21. Then I bought Recon Technology. It is a growth stock. I bought 10 shares for the average price of $5.40. And as you can see here, it is now $6.59, which gives me a total return of $11.95. Then I also bought ACB. I got 10 shares of that for the average price of $8.71. And you can see right now it is at $9. 33, which gives me a total return of $6.20. Now to get back to the dividends that I made this week. First one is Bank of America. I own 7.149311 shares, which gave me a dividend payment of $1.29. And that was automatically reinvested for 0 0.033903 shares at an average price of $38.05. Then I received $1.45 for owning 5.127264 shares of Shell, which was then reinvested for 0 0.036259 at an average price of $39.99. And then I received $2.72 for owning 5.166555 shares, which was reinvested to get 0 0.029431 shares at an average price of $92.42. And then we can see here that I should be making $1.62 and $2.56 from Vanguard S&P 500 ETF and PowerShares S&P 500 High Dividend Low Volatility ETF later today. If you are interested in setting up your own portfolio, through Robinhood. My link is right here. I will also have it in the description below. If you use my referral link and connect your bank account, you will get a free stock. With that free stock, it doesn't matter if it goes up or down. It will always be in the green, so it's really cool because it's not like you will lose money from it. You will only ever be positive. Now we will get into the dividend tracking sheet. We'll start off with Bank of America with $1.29. Then we will go to Shell for $1.45. VNQ, $2.72. VOO, $2.56. And the last one, SPHD for $1.62, which brings our monthly total to $28.75, beating out February by $2.74, which gives our quarterly earnings to $61.74, which is great because all that stuff was then reinvested back into my portfolio so that I will be making more money the next quarter. This is the total versus ticker so far. ExxonMobil is in the lead by a lot. I am very happy with the way my portfolio has performed this quarter. I am excited to go into the next quarter, hopefully to getting more than $61.74. Uh, I believe it will, but so far this is more than I made last year when I first started the portfolio. Very happy with what I am seeing, I have a Redbubble shop. If you are interested in that, you can get the Capital Gains logo right here. There are also other designs that you can check out. And if you are interested in setting up 
a portfolio, but you don't want to do all the work, as in like researching your own stocks or keeping track of what's going on, I suggest going for Acorn Savings. What that does is that when you sign up and link your bank account, anytime you buy something, it rounds it the total purchase up the next dollar. It takes the difference between that and what it rounds up, and it automatically invests that into stocks for you. You don't have to micromanage it. You don't have to watch out for it. It will do it all by itself. It will grow for you with minimum effort on your end. I will have a link to that in the description below. If you use my link and signed up for it, you will get five free dollars for your profile. And I'll also have a link to Yoda Savings, which will give you a lottery ticket for every $25 you put into the savings account. That lottery ticket if you get all the numbers, you could win anywhere from ten cents to a million dollars. Ten cents for getting one number, a million dollars if you get all of them correct. And by signing up and using my link, you will get a hundred free tickets to test out. Besides all that, it's been a good week. Got a lot of dividend payments. Super excited for next month. We can see that the overall market has been quite volatile this last week. Hopefully that evens out, but with the dividend payments coming in, I'm not too worried about that because I know in the long run, I will be making money no matter what happens. So until next week, I will see all of you investors later.